excited, even though I know we've got a bit of a cool down. Oh yeah about that stretch of weather we have coming our way though. It's gonna be great. I mean, it's, it's gonna be one of those mornings, Saturday morning where you walk outside. I don't know about you, I feel refreshed. Yes. When that temperature drops a little bit, we, we, you know, we just got over a spell <laughs> yeah. of heat. Like, these are the mornings you kind of live for. I can feel it now. Yes. Glorious. The angels are singing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but outside right now, the front that's bringing us that cooler air, you can see it making its way on through. Definitely not as uh, rainy and stormy as a lot of fronts we've had. You can see some showers trying to work their way through Osceola, dwindling as they do. And off to the east, still some clouds out ahead of that. Behind that, though, skies have cleared out. And uh, northwest winds have taken over. That's going to leave us a little bit cooler as we head into the weekend. Still looking good, though. You look at Lamoni. Uh, we've got cloudy skies there. A few clouds popped up over West Des Moines. Otherwise, Algona skies have cleared out. Temperature-wise, we're at 80 degrees. So still pretty warm. You can see that breeze out of the north, though, as that takes hold. Again, those temperatures will eventually start to drop. You look to the north, already seeing that 74 for Mason City, 73 for Decorah, for Dodge coming in at 76. So really comfortable conditions out there. And you notice the clouds to the south. Those continue to push to the southeast. Still could see an isolated shower, perhaps an isolated storm to the southeast. But, but even by Friday morning, a lot of us lingering in the mid to upper 40s to start the day, heading to the afternoon, struggle to make it much out of the low to mid 70s. And then as we head in towards your Saturday morning, again, if you are tailgating and you're headed off to the east into Iowa City, it's going to be cool. We can, in fact, have a wind chill that could push us down to around 42 or 43 degrees. So tis the season. We are inching our way towards fall after all. Rest of the day, though, looks quiet. Maybe a few passing clouds, but temperatures, again, going to be largely in the mid to upper 60s out there as we pull out a cool one with more cool air to start your Sunday. Temperatures do start to warm though. By noon on Sunday, we're already pushing back up into the low to mid 70s. So that's Cyhawk showdown topping out at 69. Waking up though that morning to 44 out in Iowa City. And it's going to be dry. It's going to feel nice. But that morning, bundle up if you do have plans to head on out or just plan for the cold. You don't necessarily need to bundle up. Feels like temperatures heading in towards your Saturday morning. You can see across the state cooler up off to the north. Mason City pushing 30s as well as Decorah. The rest of us largely in the low to mid 40s for, for your wind chills into your Saturday morning. Look at all the sunshine, though. After that cool dip, we bounce right back. 79 on Sunday. We could be talking 90 degrees again on Tuesday with sunny skies lingering through the end of the week.